my government is providing universal health coverage free of cost for all as an important priority under Dr. Vyasar Arogisri. Andhra Pradesh has secured the first rank in the STG India in Index ranking 2020-21 in the percentage of household with my usual member covered by health scheme. Under Dr. Vyasar Arugisri Asara scheme, an amount of rupees 517.16 crores has so far been provided as post-operative sustenance allowance to 9.43 lakh cases with a maximum of rupees 5,000 per month at rupees 225 per day. My government is planning to implement the family physician concept and additional 432 mobile medical units are being procured for the purpose in addition to the existing 656 MMUs. 108 ambulance and 104 mobile medical units are revamped under Nadu Nadu program improving health infrastructure such as new YSR health clinics, upgrading of PHCs, urban clinics, CSCs, area hospitals and construction of new PHCs, urban clinics has been taken up. My government has proposed 16 new medical colleges, one for each parliamentary constituency. There and the process of establishment. As a result of this, all the newly formed districts will also have the necessary medical institutions and facilities. Existing 11 medical colleges and teaching hospitals are also being upgraded. Towards other innovative and reform-oriented health initiative, a 200-bedded super-specialty hospital with a kidney research center and dialysis unit is being established at Palasa in Chicagolom district. My government has decided to establish multiplicity hospital at five ITDA areas under tribal subplan at Sitampeta, Parvatipuram, Rampa Chodaram, Buttai Gudam, Dona. Dornala. My government is spending rupees 16,255 crores under Nadu Nedu for total rebump of health infrastructure. My government introduced YSR Shampurna Poshuna Plus for the scheduled tribal and areas and YSR Shapurna portion schemes to address the problems of anemia and malnutrition among the pregnant and lactating mothers and children aged 6 months to 72 months by providing supplementary nutrition through Anganwadi. 6 lakhs pregnant and Lactating women, 16, uh, 16 lakhs children aged about 6 to 36 months and 13 lakhs 6,000 children aged 3 to 6 years are being covered under this scheme. Annual outlay for schemes in ru is rupees. 956.34 crores. State government is spending this amount to provide daily egg, milk, nutrition kits and addition supplements like balamritam, multi grain atta, groundnut chikki, ragi flower, jaggery, dry dates to all pregnant and lactating 
women and children aged 6 to 72 months. As per the new education policy, the Angarmadis are now being co-located with the primary and upper primary schools to bring about energy in teaching methodology and for better learning outcome of children. This move has facilitated better nutritional supplementation to children and robust foundation for physical, mental, emotional and social development of every child. Out of 55,607 Angarwadi centers, 27,620 are operational as foundational schools and 2,787 are operational as satellite foundation schools. Agriculture sector. Agriculture can trigger job led economic growth, provided it becomes intellectually satisfying and economically rewarding, said Ms. Swaminathan. My government is committed to make agriculture more profitable under the YSR right to Bharsa PM Kishan financial assistance rupees 13,500 uh, 13, is extended to the farmers in the installments and it is a matter of pride that ours is the only government to extend this benefit to landless tenant farmers including records of forest rights cultivators. Since 2019-20, a total amount of rupees 20,162 crores has been incurred for the benefit of 52.38 lakh farmers. YSR free crop insurance scheme aimed to protect the farmers against crop loss has benefited 13.38 lakh farmers with an amount of rupees 1,739 crores during Kharif 2020. So far, an amount of rupees 3,788 crores has been incurred for the benefit of 31 lakh farmers. As a testimony of our endeavors, the Niti Ayog has recognized Dr. Weiss as a pre-crop insurance implementation as a model for the state. Under Weiser, Sunawadi Panta Runalu scheme during the year 2021-22, rupees 207.72 crores was extended as inter inter subsidy to 12.31 lakh farmers towards crop loans taken and those who paid in time for Rabi 2019-20 and Kharib 2020 seasons during 2021-22. So far, an amount of rupees 1,218 crores has been incurred for the benefit of 65.63 lakh farmers. <coughs> My government has established 10,778 Raitu Bharsa Kendras at every village to provide a comprehensive solution to all the agricultural needs along with e-crop booking facility. E-crop booking is used as the single source for effective policy formulation and implementation of programs such as Dr. YSR Free Crop Insurance Input Subsidy, YSR Sunabadi Panta Runaru and Procurement of Agricultural Produce at MSP. In the Good Governance Index 2020-21 released by the Government of India, Andhra Pradesh stood first in the country 
in agriculture and allied sectors.